Welcome to Great Books for Kids, where stories come alive. Today, we're hitting the streets with a lineup of fantastic children's books all about taxis. But here's the twist. Can you spot the hidden emojis throughout the video? Count them all and share your total in the comments below. Let's see who's the emoji detective. Are you ready? Let's dive into the world of taxi tales. Our first stop is Taxi Dog by Deborah and Sal Baraka. Join Maxi, the taxi dog, on an unforgettable adventure through the bustling city. This heartwarming story is perfect for ages three to six and is filled with the excitement of the urban landscape. Next up, we have the classic Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Willems. While not exactly about taxis, this hilarious tale is a must read for ages four to eight. Find out what happens when a persistent pigeon wants to take the driver's seat. Get ready for a vintage adventure with The Taxi That Hurried by Lucy Sprague Mitchell. This delightful book, suitable for kids aged five to nine, follows a taxi's journey through a bustling city, showing the importance of teamwork and speed. Our next pick is Tinga Tinga Tales, Why Lion Roars by Claudia Lloyd. In this charming story for ages three to seven, a speedy taxi bird helps various animals get to their destinations. It's a colorful and engaging read with a dash of African folklore. Last but not least, we have Taxi Taxi by Carrie Best. Join a young girl and her taxi driver dad on their exciting journey through the city. This heartwarming book, suitable for ages four to eight, explores the special bond between a father and daughter. And now, here's a fun fact about taxis. Did you know that the first recorded taxi service dates back to 1605 in London, England? They were horse-drawn carriages for hire, setting the stage for the modern taxi cabs we know today. That wraps up our taxi-themed adventure in the world of children's books. Remember to count those emojis and share your total in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with other young readers, and subscribe to Great Books for Kids for more captivating stories and reading adventures. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll explore new tales and embark on exciting literary journeys. Until then, happy reading, little bookworm.